So some breaking news, President Donald Trump just got indicted for uh, allegedly giving hush money payments to adult film actress Stormy Daniels by the New York or the Manhattan Attorney General, Alvin Braggs. And this is just breaking. I want to make some comments about it. I want to show you what the Lord is putting on my heart to share with you, to remind you. And this is going to go over a lot of people's heads. But for those that have been following and you understand the situation, you are not concerned. And this is nothing but just another, if you want to call it, a witch hunt in my opinion. And so I'm going to make some comments because a lot of us are at different levels. As I've said before, if you have been following me for a long time, you know that God has shown me that he's using Trump as a, a tool, as a, as a person, as a warrior in this hour to dismantle and to take down the deep state because we are in a war like we've never ha had before. And this war is between good and evil. And so you're seeing this play out right now in the political realm in a lot of Minions and people are being used to try to either create false testimony, to create chaos, to create division, to create anxiety and worry, to slow you down, to create a certain perception so that certain people are led away to either not voting or not supporting and things like that. And so a lot of this has to do with impressions, with your image, and just being able to win the information war that we are in because so many of us anchor off of the first thing we hear and just past memories and things like that. And so this is why it's very important to be able to step back, ask the Lord for discernment and say, Lord, what is really going on here? Because if you take something at face value, then you are going to be uh, swept away. And if you think about it in this sense, I've said this a couple weeks ago, just because somebody is indicted, just because somebody has been charged with something doesn't mean they're in the wrong. It doesn't mean that they're a bad person. I'm not saying this this man, Trump, is perfect. I'm not saying that we should be worshiping him. No, none of those things. He's just being used in this time. And just like uh, when uh, Jesus preached in the Beatitudes, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are those uh, when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for your, great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. And so you have to realize, right, this is an age where you, you don't just have this clean resume. You go out there, you do kingdom work, and you don't expect to be attacked. And when I mean attacked, just like Paul, the disciples, uh, Jesus being crucified, you have to really get into your mind that there's a war that's so thick that Satan wants to utterly destroy you if you are doing good things for the kingdom. And again, this is very deep stuff. You have to do some research. But the amount of evil happening with regards to the Freemason stuff, the global elite, all of the child sacrifices, all these things that are unfathomable to the person who hasn't seen it, child uh, sex trafficking, uh, human slavery, all these things that have happened, human depopulation, its efforts to control you, the the financial system, all that to enslave you, all, all of these things sound utterly uh, conspiracy, crazy type, you know, stuff. But you have to realize that there are a group of people that want to take down, to control, to take away your freedoms and to enslave you, enslave humanity. And this is why this war at the highest level with whether you want to put Trump in there, other patriots and white hats, other people across the globe, they're trying to take these people down. And that's why if you don't see it with your naked eye, and again, in some sense, we, we don't know the full story, but this is so thick that what they have to resort to is petty tactics, color revolutions, uh, this image stuff, just trying to take people down as much as possible. So this, is the, what, this is what you're witnessing at, at the, a big picture level. And so with Trump, in terms of what he's doing, right, he's literally going against these things and upholding righteous values. And so you have to really contextualize this for a moment, right? So if you look at the Bible, if you look at Jesus, the apostles, the disciples, when they were persecuted, right? Imagine you were, you were in that situation, right? You heard the news, you just woke up, you're going to the, the, the town square, the, the courts, and you're shuffling through people and you heard the rumor like, oh man, Jesus was arrested. He was prosecuted. And Pontius Pilate, he gave him the thumbs down. Now he's being flogged as we speak. And you're like, you know what? I want to go see this for myself. But you go, you sh sift through all the people. You see Jesus with your own eyes bloodied up. And then your conclusion sitting there is, ah, I knew it. I knew that guy was a cult, religious, fanatic, crazy leader. He got prosecuted, even Pontius Pilate, all these Pharisees and Sadducees 
they were in the right. So I guess the conclusion is that this guy was not the son of God. This guy was some, uh, you know, w wacky dude or whatever it is, right? And so your conclusion, obviously, is incorrect just because you're seeing a couple of clues, because you're seeing uh, the, the atmosphere and what happened with the indictment, with the prosecution, and with the guilty verdict. The same goes for Paul. He was jailed, right? People think, oh, I knew it. This guy, his resume was so bad, he murdered people, and now he got jailed. That doesn't mean, or that means that he's not really a, a, an apostle. I guess he claims to be a, a, a disciple, an apostle of, of Christ, but he got jailed. So, I knew it, I knew it, right? So if you look at it as a one, two step and you conclude for yourself like, oh, I knew Trump, I knew these guys who are getting arrested uh, were guilty and they're bad, then you literally have not broken through the first layer of critical thinking and saying, okay, well, what's what's beyond this? What's deeper, right? And so he's mentioned, and this is, this is all uh, news from a long time ago, the Russia, Russia hoax, right? Failed, the Mueller hoax, uh, the impeachment hoax, all number one, number two, all of these things, right, have already been there. And he's shown that this man is not guilty of any of these crimes, even with what has uh, come out before. Allegedly, right, uh, Stormy Daniels writing uh, some signature and, and a letter saying that there was nothing that was done between uh, these two people, right, Trump and Stormy Daniels. And so, again, I'm not going to get into the case itself. What I want to address is image, impression, and how you have to be aware of how they're, the war that's going on for tarnishing the image of a person to break, uh, bring somebody down. This is not just Trump, by the way. You can look at any pastor, any leader, even good politicians, right? There are bad, bad politicians. A good, you know, whoever is fighting, YouTubers, even influencers, whoever is fighting for that space to try to influence you, and then they have a public domain for which a lot of people know them. Satan is going to easily, one of the easiest tactics is to tarnish that person's image. And so you, can, you cannot fall for that trick by looking at it at the first layer, right? The same, as I mentioned, with Jesus, with the apostles, these guys. You have to critically think and say, okay, is it true? Is it not true? Is it completely made up? Is there something else going on? And so I want to address that issue first. I'm here to tell you this man is innocent of these things, and you're seeing uh, basically, this two-tiered justice system, as many people have been talking about, and there are so many things. Oh, if you want to go back to all these other precedents, I'm not going to name all of them, but you know, if you've done your research, what they have been involved in with regards to the globalist agenda and all these different things. And so this guy is not part of that group, and that's why they want to take him down. Now, going beyond this, right? What is what what is really going on here, right? So whether this is completely set up where Trump was baiting them in and this was all, if you want to say, set up, it's a movie that you're watching. Biden is not the real Biden. And uh, I mean, you got to go back to Trump's presidency. He's uh, made these peds that nobody knows what has been said. If truly the election was stolen, he, know, he knew literally they're planning for years what's really going to happen to take everybody down, to wake the entire population up the executive orders, if you want to talk about devolution, if you want to talk about the law of war manual that you can study, or if you want to go even deeper than that, the Q operation, if you do any amount of studying, not just reading a couple of articles, not just reading somebody's opinion of it, but actually reading all of these uh, Q drops, studying it and saying, man, what is the coincidence and the probability of these things happening? The drops and the deltas and all of the, all of the seemingly uh, weird clues and how do they know these things, right? And so you have to get beyond this image. So this this time that we live in right now is a testing time to 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 tell you, are you going to believe what they say? Are you going to believe uh, what uh, two or three people tell you, or do you want to get into a a degree of critical thinking to step back and say, Lord, what really is going on? I'm so confused. Everyone's demonizing everybody else. What's really going on here? And so this is the great awakening that I'm talking about. Part of the great awakening. You're seeing Trump right now, and if anything, a lot of his base, other people, even if you're not into the devolution and the, the you know, the Q stuff and the movie set and all this stuff that's going on, even if you're not uh, in that realm, you could look at it and say, man, he's being uh, unjustly prosecuted. And so it's going to rile his base up even more in the sense that it will strengthen his uh, resolve as well as his support that uh, in terms of voting and things like that. And so you have to look at it in multiple layers. So whether it's the the people that are not yet awakened, right, or totally asleep, and they're now starting to realize, man, all of this stuff that's happened to him the last six years, there's something off about it. 
they're waking up at their pace. And then for all the rest of us, myself included, for which we've known this entire time what's going on, it's part of a deeper, multifaceted operation, waking other people up, trapping them, right? Leading them down a certain path so that whatever, for whatever tactical reason you're cornering somebody, you're exposing somebody, you're looking at uh, whether they are a double agent or wh whatever the reaction is that he's trying to dig up because there's a lot of moles, there's a lot of people and their true colors are showing in this hour, whether they're supporting, whether they're bringing other false testimony up. So a lot of these things have to be recorded. It has to be done according to the rule of law. And it's being, the mounting amount of evidence that's being piled up, uh, treason, all these things that are happening, it has to be done in a way for which it's an airtight case. And so you're seeing that happen right now. So don't be concerned about what's going on. This is, again, re-quoting, right? Matthew chapter 5 of the Beatitudes and many other places in the Bible. If you are being reviled, persecuted, if you are fighting for righteousness sake, you don't have anything to worry about because God is on your side. As long as you are right in the eyes of God, God will uh, reward you. He will pull you through. And even if you have a, a short time for which you are being trampled, hated on, Jesus and many of the disciples, they had people just turn away from him, reject him, deny him for a very long time. And so you're going to get some people, it's going to be messy, but it's okay. If you know, you know. If you're not wavered, that's great too. But many more people are now looking at this. So this is going to be a uh, catalyst for other things. It's going to be a domino effect and it's going to work out well. And so again, don't be concerned about the, uh, these things. There's a bigger operation at play. I believe it. And we know that if you follow Q, if you follow any of these uh, things, well, even when uh, Trump himself hints at certain things, the storm is coming and it's a good time right now because those that need to be prosecuted, they will be prosecuted in due time. Don't worry about the noise. Stop listening to the, the uh, false prophet uh, mainstream media and make sure you are prayed up so that you are not deceived into a certain direction, an image, and the Holy Spirit will give you peace he will speak to you and you can get through this time if you are trying to really understand and, and decipher to sift through the information. So a lot of people are still in this camp of, I knew it, I knew it. Just like the example that I gave with the guy waking up and trying to see for himself if Jesus was really flogged and he was prosecuted. They're going to operate at an elementary level. But for many of you, you are upgrading, you are waking up and you're realizing, okay, there's more to it than what is shown at face value. So I just want to give you guys this quick encouraging word. God is working through all of it. Again, nobody's worshiping anybody. We're just trying to make sure that with the, the battle of good versus evil, the right people in the right positions of power and influence are being supported, uh, prayed for, and that they are given the tools necessary such that they can pull through and the strategy and the tactics and all this stuff is being done according to the will of God. So love you guys. Talk to you guys very soon.